Hello, so uh, we are in Shinrata Desra. So I have uh, finished the old uh, uh, alien ruins. I ended up finding nine <coughs> uh, nine different uh, data packets. I don't know why I kept all of those here, but there was one that did rather uh, catch my eye. Um, yes, this one. Uh, this data offers more details about the physical appearance of the Guardians, specifically regarding genders. The similarities between humans and the Guardians continue to delight me. They had two distinct genders and reproduced sexually. There don't appear to have been any taboos surrounding sexual activity as the data contains a large quantity of graphic images and recordings, not unlike some of our data nets. In other words, I seem to have found a Guardian's uh, porn site. Well, so um, what I am going to be doing is uh, something that was actually suggested a little while ago by uh, Commander Andy Pitkin. And at long last I am going to finally uh, be doing it. Now I've been hanging around um, Nehet and, and all around that way to try and find a specific passenger mission and it's never shown up. Uh, just see if it, here, it, it's highly unlikely to appear here in Shinrata Desert because my uh, yeah because of that is not good enough. My reputation so even if it was here, I wouldn't have a high enough rate to be able to do it. So, that mission is to go to Colonia. I'm going to head to Jake's station in Colonia. Uh, right, so before we do that, uh, we'll have a quick rundown of the stats, because I haven't done this for a little while. So my balance is now at uh, 1,124,463,027. That's not bad. Uh, right, now my um, shield and armour uh, stats haven't changed since the last video. I'm quite okay with those. I know they could be better, but... I just can't be asked. So balance, uh, current assets, I finally passed uh, 2 billion on, on those. Credit spent on ships is at 1.3 billion. On outfitting, 8.1 billion. That's about to go up quite a bit. Uh, repairs, 34.2 million. On fuel, 2.3 million. Munitions, 2.1 million. And 11 insurance claims coming to 110.3 million. Combat Bounty's claim is at 8,221, which has given me 235.3 million in profit. Combat bonds, 5,874. In fact, there have been more of those, but I've been giving away a lot of combat bonds to that fucking engineer. Uh, so, profit from combat bonds is at uh, well, just shy of 125.1 million. Assassinations are 258. Uh, Profit of 36.1 million, the highest single reward uh, 1,992,556, and 185 skimmers killed. Crime, the fines issued constantly goes up, and yet I don't see any notification of any fines being given, so. Anyway, uh, so fines issued is at 180. Lifetime fines value of uh, just over 4.5 million. Bounties received is a 24, lifetime bounty value of uh, just over 12,000, so yeah, I'm not exactly public enemy number one. Highest bounty issued is 2,000. Smuggling, uh, black market network up to 25, uh, profit of 25.2 million, commodity smuggled is at 10,400. Average profit has gone down a bit, but it's still, you know, not exactly terrible. 475,512. High singles transaction, 2,060,240. Don't see that ever changing, largely because I don't do any smuggling anymore. Trading. Uh, market network is up to 314. It's going up fairly steadily, really. Uh, trading profit, 936.1 million. 
Uh, commodities traded at 630,299. Average profit keeps on going down, uh, so it's currently at 306,730, which is still not exactly a terrible average. High single transaction hasn't changed for ages, which is hardly surprising, so 41,160,024. Mining, I haven't done any for a little while, so uh, property is still at 16.5 million. Uh, minerals refined is at uh, 1,528. Materials collected at 4,599. Exploration uh, systems visited is at 11,158. That's going to go up a fair bit, uh, so in fact most of these are going to go up a fair bit now. So uh, products from exploration at uh, 246, well just shy of 246.2 million. Level 2 detailed scans at uh, 4,985. Level 3's at 176,828. Highest payout, uh, well yeah, that that's never going to change. 631,850, I think it's been like that for almost a year now. Uh, I'm sure it was a year ago that I was at Sagittarius A star. So, uh, total height space distance of uh, 359,644. Total height space jumps 19,227. Max distance from the start, that hasn't changed either, 45,837. Approximate time played is horrific, and uh, SRV distance travelled is at 2.12 megameters. Passenger missions, I've been doing a few of these to kill time while I was waiting for that Colonia mission to show up, and it never did. So 47 missions have been done, I have carried 11 disgruntled passengers, like I give a fuck if they're disgruntled or gruntled or whatever. Uh, 7 explorers, 27 medical, 108 businessmen, 87 tourists, 8 refugees, 10 freedom fighters, 18 politicians. I was carrying a head of state but he was one that was moaning so he's come up as a zero for that. So total bulk passengers of 87, total VIPs 178, so total delivered 265 and total ejected 21. Crafting, uh, number of engineers used, you know, surprise, surprise, 19. Uh, number of upgrades, 523, uh, 202 of those are grade 1s, 55 grade 2, 75 grade 3, 83 grade 4s, and 108 grade 5s. Crew hasn't changed for ages because when I fired the last one, that was pretty much permanent, I'm not going to be, uh, bothering with crew anymore and I'm certainly not bothering with CQC. <coughs> so that's the uh, stats. I'll leave the uh, exploration uh, as the main uh, one here because I dare say I'll be visiting quite a few systems for the first time. Now I have not yet uh, finished outfitting this ship. You may notice from the insurance cost that I have taken some bits off. Um, they are in storage. Uh, so yeah, so my 256 uh, cargo rack and my 6A fuel scoop are there. Now the reason being that uh, a 6A fuel scoop, um, I, I want a better one if I'm going all the way out there. So, fuck it, I'll go all the way, stick an 8A on. 253,000, uh, no, 253,634,918 is not cheap, but let's face it, I can afford it, so bollocks to it. Slap it on. So, balance is now down to a mere 870 million. Right, now, this internal compartment here, which is also empty, uh, I need the old um, uh, AFMs, that's it. So let's, oh fucking hell, that's going to really wrap up the uh, power usage, which is not ideal. Oh, fuck it. I mean, I need it anyway. You're right, 13,430,578. Again, not cheap, but fuck it. Bang it on. Now, I also need to 
have some sort of cargo capacity because although I'm not taking any cargo there I'm not just heading straight to Colonia and then coming straight back again um, so I'm thinking of leaving the French if the interdictor behind because well let's see obviously I need the shield generator uh, shield cell bank I hear that it's a bit rough out around there so I could get myself into some sort of uh, scrapes in which case I will need the shield cell banks now I'll need the first class passenger cabin because although I'm not taking anybody out there there is a very good possibility that I could take someone back so that's worth keeping detail service scanner obviously I will want that uh, you know I may as well maximize the profits from all the systems I scan um, the planetary vehicle hangar well it, it like when I did the uh, trip to Sagittarius A star and beyond um, it was handy to have that there so I could you know get some decent screenshots and some exploration of some planets so I'll keep that and then the advanced discovery is going to obviously is essential so it, it needs to be the, uh, the, the, the interdictor so we'll bung that into storage now that means I'm only going to have 32 tons of cargo which is not a great deal but uh, but that I mean yeah I'd, I, I need uh, you know some sort of uh, cargo capacity so that will be the one so I'm only going to be able to carry 32 tons if when I'm going from Colonia to all of the other uh, inhabited uh, systems. Of course, that's even going on the assumption that there will be missions to take cargo, but I would imagine there will be. So my balance is now down to 857,299,631 and my insurance costs have shot up to 41,074,032 which means I can still rebuy my ship 20 times so that's not an issue alright now that means I am going to have to check my modules mind you usage is only on 100 so yeah I'm not going to be too bad actually I don't need to change anything yeah they're all fine uh, do I need to do anything as far as uh, Yes, uh, oh no, I don't need to do shield cell bank because I use the keys, same with the heat sink, so yeah, they're all fine. But I didn't even change the shield cell bank, so I don't know why I was even looking at that. Right, so I need to, uh, so we'll change the, the auto maintenance unit can go down to four, it's certainly not a great one item. I'm not going to bother, you know, changing anything else. It's not like, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not desperate to change my uh, jump range. Well, what is it? 24.21 light years. That's that's fine. I don't have any cargo. I don't have a lot of cargo space. So uh, materials are okay. I've got enough space to grab some. Yeah, grab some more if I need it. Data is fine. Synthesis. Uh, yeah, I don't have any molybdenum, so well, it's not like I'm ever going to use that one. The only thing I'm ever really likely to use maybe the AFM refill. Not that one, no. But I can do that one. If I can do that one twice. Um. But it's more the SRV uh, that I'll be using. So, and if I need to do the uh, uh, frame shift drive uh, boost, I can do two of those. Right. So let's take a look then. So my destination is all the way over there. Oh, 
it's actually in a nebula. I didn't realise that. But, uh, so it's uh, 22,000 light years. Point nine eight light years, yeah. Um, population at six. Yeah, I think the population might be a bit higher than that now. So, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's a few populated systems around, and I will want to take a look at those. And then once I've done those. I will then be trying a little experiment. Yeah, the Sagittarius A star is in that direction. I mean, how far is Sagittarius A star from here? Oh, it won't be able to fucking show me. Well, hang on. Sagittarius A star is about 26,000 from... So it's about another 4,000 light years from here. I don't think... I will go back to Sagittarius A star. I mean, I've already been there once. There's no point going there again. And this is fairly close to the galactic centre, only 4,000 light years away. But I do want to travel about another 4,000, maybe another 5,000 if I can, light years away from Colonia once I've done this trip. So, yeah, that could be. Actually, that could take some doing, because of where I plan to go. I'm not going to reveal it yet. But, uh, right, anyway, that's that's the plan, then. That's where I am heading. And uh, now that my ship is all set up for it, um, we can start to uh, plot the course. I don't really want to go in a completely straight line because there are some systems and some uh, nebulae that I can visit on the way that I haven't been to before I'm not interested in the uh, pipe uh, bowl or stem largely because I have already been there and there was fuck all there so But, uh, how far are we now? 735. I know there are systems on the way where you can stop off and, and land and do whatever you want to do there. Uh, I have not yet decided if I will use them or not. It could well end up that I will only use them because of the sheer luck that uh, I happen to uh, land there and uh, you know it was on the way so anyway right that's these laid in so but I think my first port of call will be Thor's Eye which is about four and a half thousand light years away. Right, four thousand two hundred light years away. That's not uh, too bad. Uh, it's class O blue white, but I think it um, also has a uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, black hole there. Now, what I'm also going to do is try and get rid of these fucking pointless ones. So I will apply the uh, filter so that hopefully I will not be going to any systems that, where the primary star is class L, T, Y or Proto. Because they are a fucking pain in the arse more than anything. So it is 46 jumps to get me to that uh, first uh, stop, some 996 light years away. Now I know what some of you are thinking, one in particular, 
which is, if it's going to take that many jumps, why are you doing it in an Imperial Cutter? You can get there much quicker if you go in a fucking ass, blah, 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 blah. I fucking know I can. But I came up with this fucking brilliant reason as to why I will do this in my Imperial Cutter. The reason being, I want to. That's a pretty compelling reason for me. So I don't give a fuck that it's going to take me, you know, 46 jumps to do uh, a thousand light years. Although I have a horrible feeling that uh, those words are going to come back and haunt me. Um, but I, for one thing, it means that I will be visiting a lot more systems and therefore making more credits. Not like I am desperate for credits, but, you know, let's face it, if you're going to do... Uh, a trek of 22,000 light years, you might as well make some money out of it. So, yeah, I know full well that I could do this trip a lot faster if I took an ASP. You know, I'm not fucking stupid, I do realise that. But, but, I don't want to take an ASP. I want to do it in the Imperial Color. So, um... Right. Well, I guess that is it then. We are going to be uh, getting underway. For what is likely to be a long old trip. I have a feeling Now I have a feeling this could actually take longer than my trip to Sagittarius A star and beyond that I did last year. Now the other thing is that this this could also involve fewer jumps, but I've got that filter on there to the route in order to avoid uh, the um, pointless charge. brown door stars that I can't fuel scoop from. So I don't, you know, I, I'm quite happy to take the uh, the long way round, I suppose, Three, two, rather than constantly you know, thinking, am I going to have the fuel to uh, get to wherever. Last time I had a fucking 8A fuel scoop was in a beater and the rate at which it uh, scooped fuel was fucking ridiculous. Fuel scooping. I mean it's scooping at 685 but I'm not that close to the planet, <laughs> planet, star. Now, to begin with, I will check the uh, system out to see if there's anything worth uh, scanning. I somehow doubt that will last very long. I will get bored with scanning individual planets very, very quickly indeed. Now, with the number of systems that I suspect I will uh, be uh, heading to, I will make you know a reasonable amount just from that. I don't need to, uh, uh, you know, I don't need to worry about uh, making more credits from scanning, uh, you know, additional planets. That's what I did uh, when I went to Sagittarius A star. I think I averaged, uh, I think it was something like, well, it was less than two per system. So, uh, and yet I made, what was it, I think it was about 150, 160 million, something like that. So, yeah, I did okay. Now I have a feeling this system is inhabited. Fuel scooping. 
Yes, it is. Right, what have we got here? All gas giants. Well, that one uh, is potentially a class two, so I'll scan that one. Fuck it, I might as well scan that one. I'm not familiar with that colouring. I'm too far away to be able to uh, scan any of them. Yeah. Complete. Now I have a feeling that I am going to be so used to this A8 fuel scoop by the time I get the Colonia that I will want to keep it. Which is fine, but it means I've got next to fuck all in the way of uh, cargo space. Because even once I get back to the populated zone, I'm still only going to have... Well, I can replace the uh, AFM. But uh, that will still mean I'll only have, what, 96 tonnes of cargo uh, space, which isn't very much. To put it mildly, I don't want to get too close to that one, because the other one I want to scan is yeah, getting further and further away. Plenty of conflict zones in here. So, as well as, you know, being told that I'm taking the wrong ship, what else could I be told? Probably you don't need to take your weapons because uh, they just add mass and reduce your jump range. Well, I've already said that uh, I've heard Colonia is a bit of a rough old place. I do not want to be uh, arriving there with no weapons. And Colonia's... Uh, outfitting is extremely limited so my ship will have well pretty much fuck all in the way of decent weapons if I do that so I'm not going to basically what I'm saying is that if you are going or thinking of telling me that I'm doing this wrong because I'm doing it differently to you don't waste your fucking time I'm not interested I'd like to think that by now, everyone who is a regular uh, viewer of my videos knows full well that I fucking hate it when people tell me that I'm playing it wrong because I play it differently to them. I'd like to be able to think that, but unfortunately I do have proof that I can't think that because there are some who still do that. You know who you are. Right, well, we'll see what's at the next system, and Thanks after surprise. that, I think that'll be a place, good place, as, well, as good a place as any to uh, pause this, and, you know, it'll be the usual routine of uh, coming back when there is something to come back to. That's going on the assumption that there is anything worth coming back to uh, before I reach Colonia. Surely there will be. I dare say I will be showing, uh, you know, some of the black holes and neutron stars that uh, I um, visit. But I won't be showing all of them. I mean, even when I did the uh, Sagittarius A-star run, I didn't show all of them because it... Fuck, <laughs> going to those. Because, uh, well, there were so many of them, and once you've seen one, unless you're talking about, you know, some particularly impressive ones like Sagittarius A Star itself, or the Great Annihilator, then yeah, they're all very similar, and it's not really worth, uh, you know, doing videos of every single one. 
but I think they have changed how black holes and neutron stars behave certainly how they look so yeah I can always uh, I'll do like the first couple of each and after that I tried to think what my uh, integrity repair costs will be when uh, I arrive at Colonia. So this place does not need scanning, which means I can just fuel scoop and piss off straight away to the next system. Which is fine by me. How high up can we get this? Fourteen hundred, uh, fourteen hundred, but um, it uh, finished fuel scooping, so uh, I couldn't see what it goes up to when top top. Fairly high, I would have thought, though. All right, so we've reached the uh, boundaries of the uh, Scorpio uh, sector. Frameshift drive charging. So, uh, right, well anyway, that, that'll do then, uh, you know where I'm heading, um, so, yeah, uh, Colonia, here we come. Alright, so, there you go, uh, I, I, what I'll probably do actually is put this video up uh, on its own and the next couple of videos will probably be various highlights uh, if you can call them highlights of the trip as I make my way Scanning? I doubt it. No, I'm fucking wasting my time on that lot. Right, well, there you go. So that is it then for this one. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll be back with the uh, the next video uh, when I find the first uh, interesting thing on this trip. That is, of course, going on the uh, assumption that I am going to find anything interesting on this trip. So, um, yeah, that'll do for now, so go away. Right, well, okay, obviously that isn't the end of the video because I am back again. Uh, I haven't exactly got very far, but I've already found my first Earth-like world. Uh, it's not a first. I'm, I, I doubt I'll get any firsts for quite some time, if I get any at all. But this system did look quite promising. I haven't bothered with either of those. I went straight for this one. I'll then go and scan this one. Which... Uh, it might be a water world. So, if you fancy making quite a few credits in exploration but can't be asked to go very far, then this could be the system for you. Head to... Uh, Prior Uk EG Y D 127, and there is an Earth like here, and there is potentially a water world here. It certainly looks like it. I might actually scan those other two planets as well because the fact that they have an atmosphere, and so I can't land on them means that I might be able to, uh, uh, they might be candidates for terraforming, in which case they will be worth quite a bit. Anyway, we'll see what this one is all about. It's rather handy that it's in a... Uh, 
dual orbit with two uh, or with one other planet. It is a water world, that's handy. So this place is certainly uh, certainly has some value to it. Uh, what is this one? Uh, what is it? It's probably just high melt content. Yep. Let's have a look on here and see. All right, so this is. Yeah, none of those are candidates for terraforming, but these two might be, so fuck it, I will scan those two as well. I'm not going to get into this habit though, I certainly won't be scanning everything. It's going to take me long enough to get the Colonia anyway, without fucking stopping, and I certainly know why I'm going off and scanning that other fucking sun. I mean, 9,000 light seconds is not very far compared to some. I still can't be bothered though. It's one of the things that I, I just don't get how I managed to make it to Elite Explorer when uh, half the time, in fact far more than half the time, I can't be bothered to go and actually explore anything. So, you know, I must be one of the laziest explorers in, in the history of the human race. I suppose I'll scan the moon as well. scan that uh, final uh, planet that's orbiting the primary star that will do for this uh, system yeah, so the moon is worthless no surprise there they nearly always are No surprise there. Let's see if. Ah, uh, uh, oh, this one is a uh, candidate for terraforming. Excellent. So that has high value. Obviously, the Earth like has high value, and the Water World has high value. So yeah, this is definitely a system worth coming to if you fancy uh, making some decent credits from uh, exploration, but can't you bother to go too far. Um, I mean, let's take a look at the galaxy map. And you see how far I have come. Not very is the answer. Looks like someone's on my uh, oh, mono. Uh, and where is uh, Shinra? So there it is. So yeah, I've only travelled 286.45 light years. So yeah, I've barely fucking moved. Um, and I've already found a valuable system. So, right, anyway, that is definitely it then for this video, so, um, yeah, now definitely uh, go away. <laughs>